Welcome to Pick Your Poison. Today we're talking about delicious paint chips. Mmm, lead poisoning. Lead-based paints have been banned for use in homes since the late 70s, but there are still half a million kids under five years old with high enough levels of lead in their blood to get the CDC's panties in a knot. So what is lead poisoning and why are the kids so cuckoo for it? Well, first off, it's not fresh lead paint that gets you. No one's drinking it straight from the can and very few people are breaking it off like chips and dipping it in their salsa. The real problem is lead dust from deteriorating lead paint. So if your house was painted prior to 1978, please talk to your local health department about testing your home for lead. Something as small as opening and closing a lead painted window can put enough dust in the air to do damage. And a child only needs as little as five micrograms in their bloodstream for it to have serious negative impacts on their brain development. Kids are more susceptible to lead poisoning because they put toys and other lead dust covered items in their mouths like a bunch of idiots. And also their dumb intestinal tracts absorb lead faster. Plus their quickly developing brains are more vulnerable to lead toxicity. I know that kids die from lead poisoning in this scenario, but I also said their brains develop fast and their intestinal tracts are speedy, so I'm not a total monster, right? Lead replaces or inhibits the calcium in your body and causes a slew of bad things to happen. In adults, we're talking an increased chance of illness during pregnancy, fertility problems, nerve disorders, memory problems, and joint pain. In addition to that, children have kidney damage, learning disabilities, speech and behavioral problems, hearing damage, seizures, unconsciousness, and death. So, you just died of lead poisoning. Let's assume you're not a child and you didn't eat the walls. So, what does that make you? Well, you could be one of the hundreds of thousands of people who have occupational exposure to lead poisoning. We're talking painters, construction workers, or anyone in the ammunition, auto, or glass manufacturing industry. But even then, you're probably not gonna die from lead poisoning. Maybe you're Beethoven. He's rumored to have died from lead poisoning. No, you're not Beethoven. Look at me for a second. Puff up your wings and straighten your beak. I've got it you're an endangered bird. California condors have been falling ill and dying from eating fragments of lead ammunition that hunters have left in their discarded kills. Tough break, my fine feathered friend. If eating a hunter's sloppy seconds doesn't sound like a dream death to you, why not give caffeine poisoning a try? I hear it's a real buzz. Please subscribe and comment below. And hunters, stop using lead-based ammunition. I'm not trying to take your guns, I'm just trying to save the condors.